We're working on a follow-up from a knee drop, Shoinagi, into a Jujigatami. And uh, there's some things one has to consider when doing this to get the position to be able to do it. After you throw them, see how you draw them into them? You've got to control that arm, trap it, and then kind of sit on his near shoulder, kind of a shoulder sit position as we call it, and to get to be able to get up high enough where you can kick over and do it. Now honestly it's probably more effective to throw and immediately pin from an e-drop Suyanagi attack or an e-drop attack and uh, pick up your, your pinning points and then maybe go onto a submission hold if you want. But if you do want to follow through into immediately into a Jujigatami crossbody arm lock, um, what you need to do is throw and spin into him as you can see Mike, see how he traps the arm, steps over and he rolls over. He literally has to make himself a little higher than his opponent that he's just thrown, who's just thrown. You can see there we got there and he crawls up, steps over and he gets, has to get high enough to we can get his opponent's shoulder and arm trapped between his, the thrower's legs and control the head with the leg over the head. See Jake coming up there and catching and he rolls back to finish it. So that's what the guys are drilling on right now. And he drops Suyanagi to a Jujigatami and there's a real science to it being able to throw him and get up in position quickly enough to trap the arm. And that's why we come to practice. So it's a knee drop Suyanagi or any type of a knee drop attack into Jujigatami quickly. And a good proponent of this was uh, a good friend of my wife and, my, and I, uh, Anne Maria DeMars. In the old days when she won a world title in 1984, it was Anne Maria Burns. And she threw a lot of women with knee drop Suyanagi and worked into a Jujigatami. Uh, my wife did it successfully, and her sister Jan Trussell did it as well um, in both Judo and Sambo. So the idea is to, as we said in uh, another video, after you throw with your knee drop, you've got to have a, a in your strategy, you've got to have a plan what you want to do once you get them on the mat. You may not get maximum points for the knee drop, so you have to finish them one way or the other, whether it's a pin, choke, arm lock, or in Sambo possibly leg lock, whatever, whatever presents itself. In this case, we create the opportunity to get the Jujigatami, and there we have it.